What we're going to talk about today is manipulating spin on the ball through ball position. So you've learned the stock bump and run off of your, off the center of your stance and it's created a very predictable shot. It, it tends to, to roll out predictably and, and bounce predictably. As you start to manipulate ball positions, you're going to be putting different kinds of spin on the ball which are going to cause the ball to react differently on the green or on the fairway. What I want to do today is take you through playing the ball in the back of the stance and the difference between playing the ball in the back of the stance and playing the ball in the front of the stance with how the ball reacts, how the ball lands and runs and rolls out. So let me start with a 7-iron. I've got three clubs here. I've got a 56 degree, a pitching wedge, and a 7-iron. And I'm going to mess with the ball positions with all three of these clubs to show you a variety of shots that can occur with the same mechanics that you would use for the bump and run, but just by manipulating ball position. Now, do this in practice before you take this out to the course. This, the shots that I'm going to hit, they're going to be different from playing the bump and run off the center of my stance because I'm contacting the ball at a different angle, a different steepness or a different shallowness. And that's going to cause the ball to react differently. You have to know how the ball positions are going to affect how the ball reacts before you get to the course. Take the time while you're practicing to change ball positions and watch how it manipulates the spin on the ball. So I got seven iron here. I'm going to play the uh, first one out of the front of my stance and I want you to watch how the ball lands and reacts. When you play it out of the front of your stance, the ball almost bounces like as if it's been uh, like a baseball that's been thrown with no spin on it. It just bounces and proceeds forward. And that's going to be quite different from how the ball plays out of the back of the stance. So you can see the shot I got here, I got a big slope to the, to the left here that I got to account for. And I'm going to be trying to land the ball short of the green just for the purposes of showing you how the ball reacts differently. And a good, you know, almost on line with this cottonwood tree in the distance behind the green. First I'm going to use the front of the stance. Same mechanics for the bump and run. You can see now I'm on the front of my stance, pivot into my left, anchor my position. See, it takes a very predictable bounce. Now it's just going to follow the contour of the green down towards the hole. Now let's look at what happens when I play the ball in the back of the stance. It's quite a different shot. The ball is going to react differently as it, as it lands. The size of my swing is going to be different because of the angles that I'm setting. Notice, as I play the ball back in my stance, I'm de-lofting the club, which means I'm taking the 7 iron and I'm making it stronger. It's actually more like a 6 or a 5 iron relative to loft. So I don't have to make as big of a swing. And also what's going to happen is the ball is going to, and, you can, and you, can, you can definitely hear the ball as it grabs, as it goes into the fairway before the green there, you can hear it grab and bite, which is quite different from the sound that it makes out of the front of the stance where the ball just sort of bounces and bounds forward. So I'm going to play the ball in the back of my stance here. And this is, this is like a hooded checker. This ball here is trying to bite while it's still being hit with a lot of forward force from the de-lofting. This is a good shot to play when you have to try and climb a tier or multiple tiers or go up a hill because this ball here, it's, it's got a lot of forward on it, but at the same time that it has its forward on it, it's also trying to bite. So when it gets up to the top of the tier, it gets a chance to slow down and stop. So same mechanics, I'm in my left side, I'm anchored to my front side, but now you can see the ball's played well back in my stance and so it's, it's Consequently, the club's very de-lofted, and that de-lofted effect is going to cause there to be a different spin on the ball. You can see the ball kind of hugs the ground as it's just grabbing onto the ground there. Both shots end up in the same spot. It's not a correct or incorrect. It's up to you to move the ball around your stance and manipulate the spin by changing ball position.